Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about why you should not go broke buying Magic the Gathering cards or Meta Zoo cards or Sorcery or Locana or any of these cards. Now, first and foremost, I truly believe that Magic the Gathering for 99% of people and Meta Zoo for 100% of the people should not be thought as an investment. And we're going to look at Boogie today. Um, a lot of times people are told that they're collectible items or investments. And that makes them seem that they can put more money into something. So instead of buying a single box at a local game store, you're entitled to buying cases of product from somebody like Alpha Investments. Because he's telling you, hey, just store these products and you will be rich like me. Even though he doesn't actually tell you the reason he's selling the product is because he doesn't want the product. If you use your brain and you imagine, okay, if this product is going to do so well as an investment, why is the guy who is telling me the product is a good investment selling me this great opportunity when it, he or she want to hold on to this great product and therefore go up in price, right? Got of this logic. I think Boogie is a collector and he's somebody who does not have self-control. I think a lot of these investor types, they use it, they might be delusional and they might believe, actually believe that this is some type of investment opportunity or this is some type of you know, game where they can make money from. When the, re the harsh reality is 95% of people will never sell until they have to sell to somebody like Rudy or like me. And I see this time and time again. Uh, these people do not have eBay accounts. They don't have TCG player accounts. They, uh, and they're good people. They're good people. They just don't know how to sell. You know, they're not sales people. They don't want to be sales people. They're just collectors and they want to collect cards and and that's what they want to do in life. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, in fact, I think that's pretty noble. That's uh, pretty noble, in fact, I, I believe. But it's time to sell. And they bought way too much, you know, way too much. You don't need 10 cases of Ravnica Remastered Collector's Editions. You don't need $8,200 of Nightfall MetaZoo. You don't need $5,000 of Monarch First Edition. You need boxes that you enjoy, that you open. And when you sell it for this amount of money, you're not selling it as enjoyment. You're selling it as an investment. And you know because no one's going to spend $8,200 on a new card game, hold it, put it in a closet somewhere, and then hope it goes up in price. So back to my initial analysis of Alpha Investments. And kind of um, where he is with things. Uh, he is a very interesting guy. And he's found a lot of people who believe that this is an opportunity that they can be like him. That they can... Um, yes, I, I think he's an interesting guy. But like a boogie or somebody making low income, somebody who works at Taco Bell, there's no probability they should be investing in, in cards of any type. And I can say this frankly, I, I've, I've seen a lot of people, I've dealt with a lot of people, I've bought a lot of collections. And sometimes I'm just like, how in the world do you have five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 when you work at Subways or Taco Bell? Like this is like a huge amount of your income isn't it and then they are like yeah yeah it is but i need emergency money and it sucks you know it sucks on my end because it's not a situation i want to be part of right but you know i always try to offer higher than buy list i always offer higher than anyone else locally or even online at one point in time and uh, hopefully it helps them but people sell their collections because they need money investments, opportunities. Um, at the end of the day, uh, people trust people online. 
they trust uh, Graham Stefan with the FTX and Andre Janke with FTX. These are the financial gurus, right? Telling you, hey, just everyone put their money in FTX. We'll be okay. Now the FTX leader is in jail. So that didn't pan out well. You have to look at your specific financial situation and make decisions based on that. And that's what Boogie and that's what these individuals, they don't get it. They don't get it. If somebody's giving very vague information, it's not for you. That information is maybe useful in the context of, you know, you applying it to yourself, but you can't just spend this type of money on Magic the Gathering cards and hope it's it's for good. You cannot. It's a very risky investment and in terms of investments, it, it shouldn't even be thought of an investment for the large majority of people. Large majority of people should have no investment in Magic cards, Meta Zoo cards, Pokemon cards. They should be playing it for fun. They should be playing it because they enjoy it. They should be playing it because it's something that they find entertaining. But they do not need cases of this product. No one needs a case of Ravnica Remastered Collector's Edition. No one needs a case of any Collector's Edition. The product doesn't go up. So what, what are you going to do? You're going to sit on it and not open it? If you have no intention of opening a product, why would you then buy 40 times as much of that product to sit on it and, and, and like what what's the goal what what's the end goal so i think a lot of people need a reality check because what they are learning and what they are understanding about investments and is not right is not right um like there's so much that you can really budget there's so much that you can do with your life um get married have find a girlfriend have a child like these are adult goals that many younger people just don't have today and maybe they, it's their own personal decision i get it but you cannot make those decisions buying a home and so on when you're absolutely buying eighty two hundred dollars a meta zoo eighty two hundred dollars is a nice car it's a nice used car. $8,200 is a really, really nice vacation or honeymoon or wedding. $8,200 is your kid's tuition to go to private school for a year. It's a lot of money. It should not be spent on MetaZoo Nightfall 1st Edition.